Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Mighty Dog Van Hunt checking in. Welcome to this Friday night sports vlog. As tonight's video is about the Carolina Panthers getting the first overall pick, trading DJ Moore to the Chicago Bears for the first overall pick in the 2023 NFL Draft. Now, though, I think the whole reason behind it and my reaction to it is that the Chicago Bears were originally going to get uh, Jalen Carter from Georgia uh, first overall. But unfortunately, due to because he got in, sh in trouble with the law, they're like, well, there goes our guy. So we're going to get a, we want to trade the first overall pick. Who's got some good offers? And the Carolina Panthers got an offer trading DJ Moore to the Chicago Bears for the ninth pick, a second rounder, and I think another for I'll say the first overall pick and two second rounders plus a um what else was it oh for next and a spot for next year's 2024 draft so the Bears have moved down to the ninth overall pick and a 61 overall pick in the second round as well as a 2024 second round pick as well so in my opinion, the Carolina Panthers, last time they had the first overall pick was in 2011, where they drafted Cam Newton out of the Auburn Tigers. So, pretty much, Carolina, I think history is kind of repeating itself. They want to start fresh. They want to start new, get a new piece. They could either get three quarterbacks, Anthony Richardson from Florida, uh, CJ Stroud from Ohio State, Bryce Young from Alabama, so, they got their picks. They also can get a wide receiver online, whatever they can get. So, but that's my, re my reaction to the first overall pick trade. Another thing to react, uh, this past week, Syracuse coach Beheim, Jim Beheim, has retired. My opinion is, is that, you know, it was time for him to retire. Time to hang it up. You know, he's been doing it since, you know, the 70s. 47 years, you know, winning, well, going to pretty much, what, three or four Final Fours in 1975, then lost to Louisville in a third-place game. Uh, and then 1987, they lost to Indiana in the national championship game. And 1987, they lost 74-73 to with a game-winning three from Indiana. And then 1996, they went to the national championship game and lost to Kentucky, uh, 76 to 67. Finally, in 2002-2003 season, Bayon finally won his title that he desperately needed, with Carmelo Anthony literally carrying the team on his shoulders. And he had some Final Four runs. Uh, 2013, they went to the Final Four. They lost that game, as well as losing in the Final Four in 2016 to North Carolina. So they had some somewhat decent teams, but, you know, it was time for him to go. So I'm happy for him. I hope he enjoys retirement. Uh, Syracuse is pretty much just behind. And then this past week, Georgetown Hoyas firing NBA legend, Georgetown legend uh, Patrick Ewing. I think he's a great player, legend. But I think coaching wasn't his, you know, wasn't his type. So, but, hey, Georgetown got a bright future, hopefully. And Patrick Ewing, you're a great player, great legend. But I think coaching, you need to work on that. So, but that does it for uh, sports. And also, too, is the men's tournaments, conference tournaments have been going on. So, some championships tomorrow, ACC, Big East, and um, back, um, Big 12. I think the Pac-12 plays tomorrow for their championship. Uh, in the championship for the Big East, uh, Marquette beat UConn Huskies 70-68. Uh, to 68. So they're in the championship game. They either have to face Creighton or Xavier Musketeers. So that'll be a good one. St. John's. Moved on from their head coach. I can't think of their head coach, former head coach name. He got released. So Big East making some moves, trying to make it more competitive. 
So, hey, we'll see what happens in the future. So, but some craziness this past week. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, and we'll see you all in the next one. Enjoy the video.